friends, listeners, and those that are one and the same, I really appreciate y'all. Um, I just wanted to give a little, you know, unedited raw update to what's going on with the podcast and how the art show went for the August 1st Friday and all that jazz. So to be to the point, the psych show went really, really well, and it will be up for the remainder of the month uh, until I take it down sometime the last week of August. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to a fella named Preston Husk for helping with me with the lighting. Uh, also, artist Derek Rucker for coming in and helping set up uh, the artwork. It's good to have y'all on my side for things like this. It is greatly appreciated, uh, more than you all know. The uh, other shenanigans I've had going on as of late, I've been really, really busy. I have been all over between, um, let's see, May, June, July, and August. I've traveled and I've debuted new art at the Psych Show, which I've spoken plenty about and let's see i've also painted at the caverns and i want to announce that i'll also be painting at the caverns this weekend for the umphreys mcgee and disco biscuit show so if you're going to that you can definitely catch me there i'll be out and about in the crowd at the new amphitheater running around a little bit and painting a whole lot don't know what i'll be painting yet but i'll be there and if you just happen to see a really tall redheaded guy perhaps around an easel that very well may be me. So uh, if you find me, come say hi. We can talk about stuff and uh, enjoy ourselves. But lately, the real big thing that um, I've been experiencing and expressing in a hopefully healthy cyclical manner is that art is giving back to me and I'm giving it, giving to it quite a bit. Um, it was a very, very, very rewarding experience and continues to be uh, curating the psych show and having it on display. And as far as that goes, I hope uh, everyone will be receptive to a show somewhere sometime in November. So if you hear this and you know someone with a venue or have a venue yourself or in some ways are connected to a venue somewhere around town that likes to display art, you should email um the KAAMP podcast at gmail.com to tell me that you are associated with a venue or have a venue or connected to a venue in some form or fashion that would very much enjoy displaying some never before seen psychedelic art, visionary art, or things of that ilk. If, uh, if that's you, glorious, please reach out. If it's not, then, you know, maybe tell somebody that this person is looking for a venue for that kind of shindig. But um, things that have made my heart and life full lately, uh, art, of course, and then race cars, and then family. Um, art, what we talk about here on the KAAMP all the time, has been ever-present in my life and a very, very dominating force as of late. The last four months have been wonderfully creative and, and fruitful for me. Um, race cars i just um helped my employer and uh i just helped my employer run his drift series for the season east 10 drift and working those four events were incredibly rewarding it was wonderful to be around such a cool community of of drivers and teams and people that all love automotive sport and all of its facets um the 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 sporting body gave out three prospect licenses to go drive in the next tier of the sport towards becoming full professional, which was glorious. And everyone was there and it was a wonderful sight to behold when everyone cheered the winners and the licenses were awarded and people knew they could continue into the next tier of competition. So being the man in the pits on the microphone, yelling at drivers, yelling at uh, at team members, telling them they need to change their tires and get back to the start line and running the clock on their competition timeouts and all that jazz has been uh, very rewarding and fulfilling in a way that I haven't had in quite a long time when it comes to automotive culture and automotive shenanigans in general. So loud cars, tire smoke, racing, sliding, drifting, 
community all super duper rewarding if you didn't get a chance to see any of this at bristol uh for the past two weeks there's more to come in knoxville so keep your eyes peeled for an east Ten drift event in october if you know where to look but that's not my place to announce so i'm just going to stop right there um family so i'm, I'm going to drop some news on family um I got together with my media and extended family over the past weekend, and it was great. Um, I haven't seen most of my generation of cousins since I was um, 16, 17, and I'm now 31. And it was um, very, very rewarding to be <laughs> to be in proximity to those members of my family again. And to see their children and how they've grown up and for them to meet my child and see how he's growing up. And it it was incredibly rewarding, even though we weren't gathered under the best of circumstances, which was to celebrate the life of our grandmother, my grandmother, uh, mothers. It, it was bittersweet, but it was also wonderful. And it reminded me how loving... <laughs> And how large my family actually is. And uh, it's it was much needed. And it refocused some of my energies toward um, priorities outside of art. Which isn't a bad thing. But it is a thing in general. Um, I talked a lot to my extended family about the art that I've been creating. And the shows that I've curated. And the efforts and energies I've put into art and how art has given back to me and everyone was very receptive and understood that this is serious and I'm serious and I surround myself with people that are serious and passionate about art and all of its forms and it was really really wholesome and rewarding and pleasing and full of love in all the ways that I needed to experience as of late uh, because Life isn't always full of those things, and I really appreciate, you know, those experiences that refocus the lens that sees those aspects of a person's life. So it was it was fulfilling in ways that I don't often uh, achieve as of late in my life. So um, as a part of this ramble, I would like to thank my extended family for making the trip home to uh, celebrate my grandmother's life and, and gather at my childhood home for a few hours last weekend. It was great. Um, there's not really a particular point to this little mini update episode other than I wanted to tell you all that uh, I've got cool things going on and life has treated me really well and art has treated me really well and I've cried happy tears more lately in the last mm, three weeks and I've had in a long long time which uh is a privilege all by itself and i won't continue to ramble about how nice it is because we all understand that so uh everybody i really appreciate you listening and if you want to keep listening to the kwamp please do there are episodes coming i've got uh, two in the workshop now one with a um national nationally known and nationally traveling to tattoo artists that uh, spend some time here in town i won't name yet because we uh, haven't officially nailed down a time this week to get to do the thing and then there's another local gentleman that i'm really really excited to sit down and talk to that was uh recommended to me by dr carl gombert and uh he I, his conversation was excellent the guests that he's recommended to me seemed to be excellent one of them denise stewart santabria was uh, a glorious conversation i was happy to share it with y'all but um i'll stop this ramble buy some art listen to the podcast uh buy art even if it's not my art but if you buy my art it'll help support the podcast um you can catch me at the caverns in pelham tennessee painting and dancing my butt off uh hopefully that is this weekend the 20th and the 21st if you're gonna go see i'm freezing the disco biscuits you will see me running around having a blast and uh painting some stuff otherwise you know just y'all go do your things and uh, listen to the podcast whenever you can or whenever you please and uh live your life make stuff do stuff be stuff 
And uh, I appreciate all. I appreciate your existence, and I appreciate your attention and your energy that you give to the podcast, and you give to me, and that you give to everyone else you give it to. So, thank you all so much. I know this was a rambly little update, but it helps me keep y'all updated, and it helps me let y'all know where I'm at with my art and with my life. If you care. And, uh, you know, just doing the thing. So, here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. All that jazz. I hope I see you at the show. And if the Sox Show 2 in November pans out, you'll hear me talk more about it. Currently searching for a venue. la di da da All that jazz. Thank you all very much.